English caption selected. Hello, and welcome to this STM32 Cellular to Cloud Discovery Packs video. There are two Discovery Packs available to get started with. Let's unbox one of them. Please take out the insert card for more information. This is the STM32L496 Discovery Baseboard and the cellular add-on board with antenna. The pack on the left-hand side, PL496G Cell01, supports the worldwide deployed 2G, 3G standard based on Quectel UG96 modem. The pack on the right-hand side, PL496G Cell02, supports the global LTE CAT M1 NB1 standard based on Quectel BG96 modem. Let's use the left discovery pack for now. First, we attach the boards together. Here is the MCU reset button, the ST-Link USB debugger port, the two user LEDs and embedded SIM. Here is the micro SIM connector where you can put your own SIM card. For your information, you can open the insert card to see more details about the board. Install the ST-Link V2 USB drivers. Please note that admin rights are needed. Then connect the pack to the PC using the ST-Link USB port. Press the STM32 reset button. Install and open the TerraTerm console application. Select the right speed and delays. The Discovery Kit will then send a welcome message, which will then loop. You may close the port to freeze the screen if needed. Now, please go to www.stm32-c2c.com where you will find the PAC Concierge Portal to help you get started. You will need to create a user account. Note, the C2C login is unique and won't be the same as your ST.com login. Fill up all fields. Click on the flag to change the language. Enter your local phone number. Please create a password. As a guideline, it must be at least eight characters, one uppercase, and one digit. Enter the CAPTCHA. Read and accept the terms, then submit. Open your email account to validate your account. Copy the Discovery Pack ST voucher code to clipboard. Add a new board using the ST voucher code. Your kit identifiers are displayed. Note, the IMEI is the modem serial number. A direct link to the board and modem spec is shown in blue. You will see all available services displayed. Let's activate the complimentary MNIFI 2G 3G plan. Please click to activate the 90-day trial plan. ICCID is the SIM serial number. BIC1 is the activation code. The MNIFI portal form is pre-filled. Edit the form, company name, and create an MNIFI portal password. Read and confirm the service terms, then create your account. To activate other subsequent SIMs, please go directly to your MNIFI portal and manually add extra SIM cards. Enter the portal for the first time. The direct URL is cdn.mnify.com. Here is your Mnify SIMs management portal. Your SIM is now registered. The SIM is activated and currently offline. The kit connectivity is enabled through the embedded ST-SIM with Mnify profile. 
we are going to test connectivity with GroveStream. Let's first get to the pre-compiled demo file for our discovery pack. Download the GroveStream demo based on C library zip file. Please open and unzip the file. P-L496G dash cell 01 underscore 24a.bin is the STM32 demo binary flash file blueprint underscore 2G 3G LTE underscore dashboard.txt is the cloud dashboard template file config underscore orga underscore gs underscore sensor.txt is the STM32 cloud configuration file keys from the C2C concierge portal, click on the GroveStream button. This will bring you to the GroveStream sign-up page. Complete the sign-up registration form. Now, let's create your organization using ST Blueprint. The Blueprint file is a web dashboard template. Now we need to retrieve your cloud access keys for the STM32. The API secret key is the first one. Copy the API key to the STM32 script file. Then, paste it to the STM32 configuration file. Repeat the process for the other API key. Now, let's have a look at your dashboard blueprint. Data will be sent by STM32 pack. Let's program the STM32 now. Drag and drop the bin file to the Disco Pack USB memory drivers. This will reflash the STM32 with the demo binary. Please note the STD LED blinking during programming. Set speed and delay in the TerraTerm settings to communicate with the STM32. Next, we configure the STM32 with the device cloud keys. Push the reset button to start the STM32 demo code. This will output a console menu prompt. Please follow the TerraTerm menu options shown. As a tip, APN is the telecom operator dependent network name. Here, we choose the soldered embedded SIM. Your SIM settings are saved in the add-on board non-volatile EEPROM memory. Let's add the GroveStream device key access values using the script file to avoid human error. We now save these cloud access parameters in the EEPROM. The demo program now starts running. 
Just wait for the demo to auto start. Please note that the first SIM activation is more lengthy than the following activations will be. Now the modem is transmitting data to GS Cloud. Rail sensor values are set if STX Nucleo MEMS sensor shield is present. On Emnify portal, you can see that the SIM is now connected to Bui Telecom. Let's now check if the data reaches Grove Streams Cloud. Sensor data is being regularly sent at around 10 seconds period. Now conversely, we will control the user LED from the cloud. Check out the board user LED being controlled from the dashboard. The startup demo is now complete. STM32 Cellular to Cloud is now enabled. For your next steps, why not try editing this example and or try out other partners' demos? Discover live JavaScript coding on STM32 or start C coding with Xcube extensions. For more information, check online at www.st.com slash stm32c2c. Thanks for watching this video.